Welcome back to Golf Extra. By now, we've all heard that Patrick Reed and Rory McIlroy are having a bit of a feud, seemingly all over a lawsuit that Patrick Reed filed after moving over to Live Golf. But there's a little more below the surface here than it would initially seem. Why exactly is McElroy involved in Reed's lawsuit? And what does it mean for the future of the two players? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now, let's get right into the real reason that Patrick Reed is suing Rory McElroy. Patrick Reed and Rory McElroy have very different reputations among golf fans. McElroy is beloved for his incredible golf swing and his affable personality, while Reed is one of golf's biggest villains for his constant bending of the rules and combative nature with fans. However, the pair's recent feud comes from a relatively uneventful history between the two players. After all, they've both been in pro golf for about 10 years, and Reed's villainous acts have mostly involved other players. Maybe the only example of Reed and McElroy being in conflict previously came during successive Ryder Cup matches in 2014 and 2016. During the 2014 edition, Reed played very well, feeding off of the crowd and helping the American team to a competitive finish, though the European team ended up winning the matches overall. Somewhat infamously, Reed made headlines by making a shushing motion to the jeering crowd during the course of the match. In an interview after, Reed dismissed the criticism of these actions, saying, Honestly, I don't really care what people say on Twitter or what they say if they are cheering for me or not cheering for me. I'm out here to do my job, and that's to play golf. The next edition of the Ryder Cup held at the Hazeltine National Golf Club in Minnesota saw Reed and McElroy matched up in match play representing the American and European teams, respectively. The match was must-watch TV, with both fiery competitors giving it their absolute all. McElroy even emulated Reed's celebration from the 2014 Ryder Cup, shushing the American crowd after making a clutch putt. Some interpreted this as McElroy mocking Reed, but both players suggested it was just a part of the competitive nature of the match. Reed ended up prevailing in a close match, and the American team won the matches as a whole. There was no animosity after the match, though, with the players fist bumping and praising one another in interviews. However, Reed wasn't reformed yet. In another international competition to come, the 2019 President's Cup, Reed was again accused of cheating, with Golf Channel analyst Brandel Chambly saying that the American team had made a deal with the devil by picking Patrick Reed to be part of the squad. Not only did Reed struggle with his play during the tournament, but he also stirred up controversy by appearing to improve his lies several times during the tournament. Fans and fellow players alike were unimpressed. Take Australian golfer Cameron Smith's response. To give it a bit of a bull response like the camera angle, that's pretty up there. I don't have any sympathy for anyone that cheats. I hope the crowd absolutely gives it to not only him, but everyone next week. We include that point to illustrate just how unlikable Reed can be, even if he hadn't directly conflicted with McElroy to that point in time. That all changed this year at the Hero Dubai Desert Classic, with Reed now a member of Live Golf and McElroy a staunch proponent of the PGA Tour, conflict seemed possible, but nobody would have expected what happened. During a practice round before the tournament, video shows that Reed walked up to McElroy. The two didn't really exchange any greetings, but as Reed walked away, he appeared to flick a tee in McElroy's direction. The move caused a stir on social media and prompted a response from McElroy. Patrick came up to say hello, and I didn't really want him to. From my recollection, that was it. I didn't see a tee, I didn't feel a tee, obviously someone else saw that. But it's definitely a storm in a teacup. I can't believe it's actually turned into a story. Yeah, it's nothing. Initially dismissive, McElroy wasn't done yet, continuing statement by saying, Yeah, I was subpoenaed by his lawyer on Christmas Eve, so of course, trying to have a nice time with my family and someone shows up on your doorstep and delivers that, you're not going to take that well. So again, I'm living in reality. I don't know where he's living. If I were in his shoes, I wouldn't expect a hello or a handshake. I was down by my bag and he came up to me and I was busy working and sort of doing my practice and I didn't really feel the need to acknowledge him. So I didn't see a tee coming my direction at all, but apparently that's what happened. And if roles were reversed and I'd have thrown the tee at him, I'd be expecting a lawsuit. Whoa, on Christmas Eve? Since my tees are Team Ace's lib tees, I flicked him one. It was kind of a funny shot back. Funny how a small little flick has turned into basically me stabbing him and throwing a tee at him. But it is one of those things, if you're going to act like an immature little child, then you might as well be treated like one. Yikes! That Ryder Cup match certainly seems like a long time ago now, but what exactly does this lawsuit pertain to? Reed's lawsuit is accusing the PGA Tour of monopolistic behavior, that is, illegally discouraging competition. It's important to note that Reed and the Live Golf organization have two separate lawsuits. 
both being antitrust lawsuits related to the PGA Tour. McElroy is a key piece to both the Reeds lawsuit and the Live Golf lawsuit because of his stature and place on the PGA Tour, as well as the strong statements that he's made in support of the PGA and against Live. By subpoenaing McElroy, Reed is apparently trying to utilize him in his case against the PGA Tour. These facts make Reed's attempts to be friendly even more bizarre since we'd assume that the last thing that McElroy wants is to participate in this debacle, and on Christmas Eve, no less. That's not Reed's only lawsuit, though. While McElroy isn't included in this one, it's just as explosive. Remember Brandel Chambly and his withering comments about Reed back in 2019? That's not the only thing that he said about Reed, having made several similar comments over the years. Now, Reed is suing Chambly and the rest of the Golf Channel for what he alleges is defamatory behavior, which supposedly has had a negative effect on Reed's career. The lawsuit was initially dismissed late last year, but has since been refiled. Reed definitely means business here. The lawsuit reads, in part, the defendants have been actively targeting Mr. Reed since he was 23 years old to destroy his reputation, create hate, and a hostile work environment for him with the intention to discredit his name and accomplishments as a young, elite, world-class golfer and the good and caring person, husband, and father of two children that he is. It is well known on the tour that Mr. Reed has been abused and endured more than any other golfer from fans or spectators who have been allowed to scream obscenities only to be glorified by defendant Golf Channel for doing so, because it gets the defendant's clicks, viewership, ratings, and increased revenue. That statement is definitely on brand for Reed. His attorney, Larry Clayman, continued in a statement, as a result, enough is enough, and it is time for Mr. Reed to protect not only himself and his family, but all live golfers who have been maliciously defamed and harmed with other illegal acts to further the PGA Tours and the DP World Tours, allegedly illegal attempts to maintain their virtual monopoly and stranglehold over professional golf. So, all of the evidence suggests that all of Reed's legal actions are tied together, and he intends to use McElroy as a key piece to prove his overarching points. No wonder McElroy commented that had he flicked a tee at Reed, he might have been sued. Reed has plenty of other legal actions in motion. As it is, the animosity between the two players seems well justified. We bet that there will be more developments to come. Forget winning on the course. Who will get the win in the courtroom? So what do you think about Patrick Reed's legal actions? Do you think he'll win? Who do you favor, McElroy or Reed? Be sure to leave us a comment with what you think down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch our latest content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.